Hi guys, Tate James here. In this video, I want to show you guys a really simple but cool PlayStation Vita plugin. So as you guys know, the PlayStation Vita home button right here, it always has a blue LED glowing. Sometimes you might be playing at night and um, the LED can actually be a bit annoying. But I found a plugin, um, it's actually quite an old plugin, but basically what it lets you do is turn these LED lights off. So this button will completely be black and um, if you're playing at night and you don't want any light at all apart from the screen, then that's really cool because this button um, will no longer be glowing. So this is pretty easy to install. I would recommend having auto plugin because you can get this plugin in literally in a few seconds. So if you don't have auto plugin, I have a video for it on my channel. You can just search it. But we're going to go ahead and start up auto plugin and I will show you guys which plugin we need to get. If there is an update, just wait for it and it will update itself. But once it loads up, we need to go onto plugins for Vita, press X on this, then press X on install plugins. And we just need to scroll down and we are looking for it. So the plugin is called, I will just find this in a second. It's this one right here, No LED by Rep Rep. So this is version 1.1. And as you can see, very simple. No LED is a simple plugin to turn off the home button LED of the PlayStation Vita. So what we're going to do, we're going to install this and test it out. As you can see, my LED light is on right now and I want to turn it off just because it's a bit annoying. So I'm just going to press X to install this plugin. Make sure you select your UXO or URO, whatever you your tie folder is mine is on my URO so I'm going to press X on this and then just going to install it in a second and we can press start and X and our PlayStation Vita will reboot now once it has rebooted, what we can actually do is just go onto it. We need to just launch up our custom firmware quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and launch up my HNCore custom firmware. Now if you have ENSO, you should have noticed that your LED light might actually be black already. So as soon as I launch this up, we're just going to wait a few seconds and the LED light should actually turn off um, You know when the custom firmware actually kicks in. So any minute now or any second now. Um, so there you go, it's just loaded the configuration and as you can see my light has gone off So we can now play games open apps and we will not have our LED displaying anymore Now if you try decide you don't like this and you want the blue light back All you have to do is go ahead and open up Vita shell We just need to find where we installed the plugin to so mine will be on our URO um, We're just going to go into the tie folder um, Just find on here no LED so just press triangle and go down to delete and press X for yes then it's going to delete it. You can also go up to the config file and we can also delete it from here. So um, it should be somewhere on here. There it is under kernel. Um, it's called no LED. So we can press um, triangle on this and also delete it. Press circle, save and then circle to go back. Start to reboot. And there you go, that is the LED plugin deleted, so your LED will now be back on. So it's up to you what you prefer, turned on, turned off. You can do that with this very simple plugin. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.